Oh, hello. So, um, today I got some loft improvement stuff. I don't know, I'll clean. Because I'm a maniac who, uh, when I start cleaning, I can't stop. And it literally only applies to the birds. Um, today my my nesting stuff came. You're making my hat fall forward. Um, I got a uh, at my nest pads, which you can probably see from this angle. And uh, I got my own. Um, my new hay, straw, really. Um, could you be careful, please? Your feet are not where they're supposed to be. Don't bite me. I'm cloud. You are such a pain in my butt. Um, and uh, we went to the hardware store to pick up some more bricks, and um. And, uh, and this, this is a gutter cover, which we've, uh, we've trimmed and nailed down to the wood because the, uh, the, the bath threads were coming off sort of one by one. Um, there's a couple of new bricks. Here's a paper we found in the, uh, in the, you know, in the yard. There's just a lot out there. Um, is that much grippier? Hmm? Is that easier? And, uh, I decided it would probably make a pretty good ramp for, uh, for young kiddos. To get off the floor and, and, and into a, an unused box. Um, I can see that uh, the nest padding I've added has made a made all the bowls comfortable, so that's good for the babies. Um, yeah, I I bought the I think a twelve pack, but um, they're reusable. You just have to soak them, and then I think you, like, you switch them around so the poop comes out. And um, then you're good. And you gotta dry before you put it back, obviously. Um, Noon has been sitting on latte uh, pretty much all day, as far as I can tell. He really, really likes this stage where the, it's a newborn. Um, yesterday he definitely seemed a little confused. Um, about why there seemed to be only one. And why he couldn't find the other one. Um. So that was, a uh, somewhat amusing. Um, kiddo is, uh, is bigger today. So we are definitely getting fed. Not that I was uh, worried about it because uh, birds usually don't get worse at breeding. They get uh, better. And if they don't get better, they're just bad breeders. And you, you stop breeding them. But yeah, I, uh, I like this setup I managed to come up with. Um... You know, I've, I've tested it pretty thoroughly. No bird is going to, uh, to make this fall over. I'm, I'm pressing pretty, pretty hard. And it's, uh, it's stable, so. It may not, it may not look, uh, particularly supported. Really? It's not even your box. But it was, uh, it was not in my zone, so. Hi, 
them. I found another centipede in here today. While, uh, while hosing. Which I swiftly hosed back out. Like, it crawled in under the loft. And then I was like, ah! Um. Don't care for that shit, you know? I'll let spiders live in here. I didn't throw your soul. I mean, I don't like them in the house. But, um. You know, outside, I feel like it's probably. They're probably beneficial. And, uh. You know, I mean, they freak me out, but. If they're keeping pests away from my birds, I can't argue. So, uh, there's that. I made a chocolate, by the way. That's how there's always clinking. It's like 6 o'clock. Because I went out to get, uh, get stuff for the birds. One to two ish. And then I cleaned a bit a long time. And then it was like, you know, putting this together and uh and trimming it so it's not it was just like overhanging. Um uh, I have like four more bricks which are not intended to go in here. There's one of the new ones. I know one of the new ones. Because I figure, um, you know, as kids get older, um, you know, plum and banana seem to, uh, to roost in the bottom boxes pretty often. And they like bricks. So, um, maybe the bricks will make a, a more comfortable little spot for kiddos uh, to hang out. What are you thinking about, Cloud? Hmm? Hi. Hi, what are you doing? That's my hand. Yeah, it's, it's chocolate in there. Why are you so violent? Ow! Ow. Ow. I'm gonna grab your beak. Give me that beak. This couldn't get you. Loft enforcement. Look how easily we're walking on this now. Much grippier. Good. That was the point. A better solution. Which, uh, won't come off. Oh, it's so grippy we're sitting on it. Wow. Hi, Plum. Hey, Newt, are you taking a little dessert break? He loves that kiddo. Are you touching it? Is banana touching? Hmm? Where's man gone? Interesting course, but uh, all right. Is that uh, is that easier to walk on now? Hmm? Not so slippery. Thought I would make a decent staircase up into that uh, box for a. Uh, you know, kids younger than them when that uh comes around again. You know, latte's here now, and uh, the Tipler kids are due for uh, the thirteenth, I believe. Um, I candle them again tonight for the last time. Uh, for day nine, 
And uh, judging by uh, how well they were doing, the other times I, I, uh, I checked them out, I'm uh, pretty confident that they're, they're both going to be fine. Luckily, because of the, uh, the, um, you know, oops, the uh, preference of, uh, hey, Nanners, the preference of the tipplers for, uh, tobacco sticks over, uh, over hay, sort of the opposite of the lucerns, um, the egg that they, uh, they laid first before I managed to put some DIY padding in the, in the nest bowl was uh well protected from uh from getting uh you know cracks in it so uh both of their eggs are sound and uh undamaged which is how i like it you know i'd rather have an infertile egg than uh, an egg that's cracked you know uh, infertile happens cracked happens for a reason you know I made it around this uh, this stump right here. I'm not sure it's entirely useful here at the moment with the with the amount of uh, stuff I have going on on the table now. <clears throat> I feel like it may actually sort of prevent uh, the kids from. <coughs> fully coming over and saying hi. Uh, while I was cleaning, um, the kids uh, don't particularly like the hose. Uh, you know, they've, they've only seen it happen twice. Um, and it, it's, it does sort of uh, alarm them a little bit. <coughs> <coughs> you know, the way it, it, it sort of alarms Storm. Meanwhile, the tipplers love it. Taco routinely comes and takes a bath during a during a <laughs> during host time. Um and uh she she just like comes near the uh the the hose um Hi banana. Hi banana. She comes near the hose spray. And just like s starts to bathe in the uh, in this in this spray from the from the from the like the the rebound. It's hilarious. I'm like taco. That's like half poop water. And she's like, I do not care. I don't care at all. I just want to bathe. Love water. Does the ramp meet your approval? Are you thinking about latte? Hmm? Are you thinking about latte? Or are you, are you just going to blow up on food again? Hi, Tom. Chicken man. That's poop. Don't touch it. Your, uh, your nares are starting to turn white. It's a much better look. Yes, you're very pretty. Once again, I saw some, uh, some aggression between, uh, between Banana and, and Storm. Which, uh, you know, once again, I have not seen between Plum and Storm. Don't worry, it's stable. You can just get in there. And, uh, not sure if that's like a gender thing. You know, like our, our, our plum and, and banana, two different genders, and, uh, whatever one banana happens to be is clashing with Storm for some reason. Or, uh, 
Or is, is Banana's personality just not a... Not um, meshing with Storm's? Or is Plum just Storm's favorite? Like, what's, uh, what's going on there? Not sure. What are you doing? Kissy. Kissy. Huh? Hi, kiddo. Hi, baby. Hi, banana. Hi, plum. Uh, during cleaning, the kids uh, both came and landed on me. Graceful. Very graceful. You just, is that nest pad just really good? Huh? There's something wet in my back. It's probably water. Sorry, I hose down the inside. Um. I'm a little offended that that nest pad is so good that you, you'll you'll leave me over it. I'm a little offended. But but they did they did come uh, stand on me for most of the most of the hosing, um, which says to me that they uh, view me as a as a safe spot at least, or at the very least, um, you know, uh recognized that I was not spraying myself with water and they were less likely to be hit there. But uh personally I think it's more likely to be the first one over the second one. Ah, oh, jeez, it hurt. Who's coming out? Is it my dad? Yes, welcome then. Banana says, no, I like this. I like this pad a lot. Don't know if I mentioned it on my channel, but, um, hey, please don't poop on me. Please. Um, but, uh, I went to a tractor supply the other day to uh, see if I could find any uh, good uh, sources of straw. Um, the answer was no. I did discover though that, that they sell safflower seed way cheaper than uh, I can get it from Foy's. Um, so uh, that, that will be my new uh, source once I get through the bag that I've gotten already um and uh i i picked up a it's it's meant for dogs um but it's this really cute like alpaca toy and i figured because you know latte is a singleton when i bring them inside for social time i want them to have something to cuddle with um it's like, you know, it doesn't have to be me. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's something else I have going. Uh, part, some of the bricks that I got are, uh, <coughs> are uh, intended for, um, for, for inside time and uh, for Mr. H. When uh, he, when he gets here and uh, he's he's gotta go through quarantine, um, right now we are uh, we are considering because you, you know I'm I'm supposed to go on vacation for a week uh, at the uh, at the end of May. And, um, I, it's, 
it just sort of feels like, are you going in there? Yeah, he is. Is he bullying you? I'm sorry, but that's just not in my, that's not in my zone. I can't protect you there. Um, it's not happy. This is don't harass my kids. Um, I'm supposed to go to, to, yeah, to on vacation at the end of May, and it's like two and a half hours away or something. It's just at the beach. Um, come here. And, um, uh, at this point we're, uh, we're considering whether I'm, I might just, uh, do half of the week. And then, uh, and then come back and, uh. You know, not a not miss things bird wise. Yeah. And honestly, due to a, a pretty chronic mental health issues, I tend to not do so hot when I'm away from home for a, for a while. You know, sometimes I'll think I'm uh, I'm doing fine and I'll, I'm ready to uh, to you know to have fun vacation, and then I uh, it gets to the second day and I'm like, oh my god, this is terrible. I would rather be at home. Um, and you know, this is uh honestly the uh, the the best I've been in a while for uh, for longer than I've been in a while so I you know I'm hoping I can uh, I can enjoy it but uh, I do uh, I do certainly uh, have that consideration of uh, you know is it is it going to actually be fun for me? And, um, you know, I do, I do have, you know, uh, baby birds to, uh, be, uh, socializing and taking care of. You know, obviously we're going to get a pet sitter for, for any of the time that all of us are gone, but, um, you know, the pet sitter's not gonna, uh, just, uh, be able to, uh, to do, to do all the things that, uh, I, I want done with the big birds on a, on a daily basis. I mean, uh, you know, it's, it's, <laughs> it's sort of a, a specific, you know, trust building process, at least with these kids. I don't think any random person, I think you just switch the person who's working with, with the kids in and out randomly, you know, considering that they, uh, they can recognize individuals. Are you loafing up there? Is it loaf time? Are you getting a grit? Mm -hmm. And get those vitamins. Get the minerals. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, this is a, this is sort of, uh, I guess, uh, I don't know. I, I, I'm bringing it up because uh, somebody uh, is having a problem with um, what could be possibly a, a, a vitamin D3 sh shortage in their uh, in their birds. Like their uh, their their breeders aren't uh, aren't getting any vitamin D3, and it's uh, it's affecting the babies that they're producing, and. Um, 
just a reminder that if you have uh, birds uh, indoors or even a loft, um, if the bird's uh, sunshine is being filtered through anything solid, uh, you know, even if it's clear, um, like, uh, say, uh, say, say my roof, you know, if that was, uh, the only sunshine they had and the rest was, uh, was all made of the same stuff, uh, that's, that's plastic, it's, it's PVC, um, that and glass, uh, completely filter out, um, vitamin, uh, UV light, which means that the birds are not getting a source of, uh, of vitamin D3, uh, which means you, you have to supplement, um, you know, some grits, uh, have supplements in them for that. The one I use does. It's, uh, it's got a lot of supplements. It's quite, uh, you love that bowl, don't you? You love that pad, huh? Yeah. Hi. Hi, Tom. Hi, Tom. You can come up. Hey. You're just gonna go right to banana, though, aren't you? Oh, you're gonna poop me first. Lovely. Um... Yeah, so, uh, any, any time you're, you, uh, you think to, to yourself, oh, well, my birds have, uh, you know, they sun themselves by the window. Um, remember, that is not how, uh, that is not how UV light works. That's not how vitamin D3 works. You, uh, you need, uh, you need unfiltered access or, uh, you need to supplement with the actual, uh, Vitamins and uh, be careful with with just uh, straight up vitamins. You know, it's it's a uh, possible to overdose on them. Um, and I really don't know what the effects are, but uh, considering the amount of warnings I've heard about a uh, proper vitamin dosage, I imagine it's um it's not great. Um, hi, are you considering a? Uh, Having a little sit. Um, so yeah, I use the, the Vercel Vaga all-in-one grit, which uh, has tons of, uh, of vitamins, um, a ton of minerals. Um, you know, it's, it's a red-based grit, which is something that you want to, uh, to do, um, to use. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's got everything they need pretty much. Um, I personally add, a uh, add extra oyster shell just, uh, because, uh, you know, I've, I've, I've got, um, I've got consistently laying females and, uh, even when, uh, even when they weren't, uh, uh, you know, producing eggs that I wanted to keep, you know, I would just I would leave them in the garden for uh, for whatever passing critter would uh, would want them. Um, I you know if 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 you're not giving your your female or honestly even your male enough calcium, um, they can have health issues. For females, it's more serious because it, it can cause egg binding, um, where they they can't pass the egg. Um, and it, that's what's really uh, life threatening, um, or you know, worse, the uh, the egg it, it breaks inside them, uh, which is uh, pretty bad. And uh, they can also get uh, uncontrollable trembling, um, which uh, is uh, you know definitely a a sign that you should be going to the vet and uh, having a, at least their calcium levels checked. Um, in that case, some birds need calcium injections to get back to a, 
a reasonable baseline um, before you can uh, you can just you know let them uh, self moderate on a on a on a calcium source. Um, in terms of a uh, grit for your, for your for your birds, pick pot is also a really great option. I don't know honestly what all is in pick pot. Uh, I know I know there's definitely salt in there. Um, there's salt in in my grit too. Um, there's like several things which are like baseline important. Um, you know, there's a uh, for instance, uh, I, I you know for a while I I did just just oyster shell because uh, I was most worried about calcium, and that worked fairly well. Uh, especially when I was on, I was, well, I wasn't, but, you know, my tipplers were, on a pelleted diet. Um, but, uh, you know, at some point, when you are, you were feeding seed and, uh, just oyster shell, and your birds are spending energy, uh, especially breeding, uh, they are going to become salt deficient. And, uh, additionally, uh, there is, just, just as in humans, there is such a thing as, uh, is, is, as iodine shortage, uh, deficiency prevention, uh, in, in pigeons. So, uh, I would say that the, uh, the most important uh, ingredients in a grit are uh, are, are uh, calcium and salt and iodine. Um, I'm not incredibly well educated on this subject, but uh, that is what I have gathered. Um, things like vitamins and uh, and and you know uh, other supplements are of course. Uh, you know, great to have, um, like the, the, the bag of, it's not a bag, it's a bucket, the bucket of, of, uh, of ingredients, oh, Jesus, bucket of ingredients, list of ingredients in the back of my bucket is quite long, and, uh, Vercel Lago is honestly probably one of the best, uh, pigeon, uh, food manufacturers out there um they're based in belgium um but they are available in the u.s um so like for instance i don't actually feed my birds um for Salaga at all um i feed them what foy sells uh their 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 breeder conditioner which is actually um like when you get a 50 pound ba bag of it it's actually called a pure grain and it's uh it's made in Pennsylvania um but uh I I think my birds do do well on it and uh considering how much my pigeons despise corn um I really uh <laughs> I really try to avoid uh um you know um sources of feed that have corn in them because it just creates a ton of waste. Just a whole ton of waste. And I, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it so much. Um, so it's like yeah, if your birds eat, eat corn definitely consider the Versal Laga uh, brand. Uh, they have a lot of different, um, sort of, uh, types of food. Like, they're all for pigeons. But, uh, you know, they're, uh, there's different formulations with different ingredients. Um, I know, uh, Malifex, for instance, I think feeds her, her birds, uh, uh the, the, the black champion bag or something like that. Um, God, I guess I'll stand for a bit. 
And uh, says that uh, their birds seem to be doing quite well on that. Are you just hanging out with your parents? Huh? Um. And uh, if if you're in a if you're in Europe and you're looking for a a, a bird feed, that is uh, probably one of the best you can get your hands on. Um, are you coming on my head? Yeah, okay. Uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, by the way, I, I don't know if anyone, <coughs> if anyone is interested. I think most of the people who watch these videos are, uh, already pretty well versed in, uh, pigeons anyway. And, uh, and don't necessarily need any uh, any extra sources for uh, for learning, but um, uh, I've got like an, an accumulated <laughs> my cat's yelling at me. Because <laughs> I'm not that. Um, I've got an accumulated like care tip uh, document for uh, for pigeons. Uh, put together, um, which is, uh, a lot of stuff that I've, uh, sorry, now I'm, like, stretching, or, uh, I, I've, I've just learned over time, you know, from, from different sources, uh, a lot of it from, from, from Danny, uh, Daniel Ramsey, um, and, uh, and other breeders, and, uh, and my own birds, and stuff like that, and, uh, I've also got the uh, the care the the care FAQ from uh, Companion Pigeon Chat uh, CPC, um, uh, which is uh, the uh, the Discord server of uh, Cricket's owner on um, on YouTube. Um, I don't I don't know if Jaina runs that server, but Jaina is definitely a mod on that server. So. Um, that's how a lot of people join that server is uh, is finding Cricket and Jaina's channel, um, and uh, some of that, some of the the, the tips in uh, my doc are uh, are pulled from that from the FAQ. Um, the FAQ is listed at the very top, of course, with uh, with credit to the people who wrote it, um, but uh. You know, I, I didn't just like copy paste the whole thing. That would be redundant and uh, and silly. But um, you know, a, a lot of people who come to me for pigeons uh, are uh, completely uh, beginners uh, for the for for you know the breed, the species, and uh, I decided that uh, you know just, just I mean I I had an accumulated care tips sort of channel. <laughs> On my Discord for um for those people who were uh, who were on my waitlist who you know needed a a cheat sheet for uh for learning pigeons so to speak and uh, uh I've, I've cleaned it up a little bit um in the dock I've uh, I've added some things that that aren't uh aren't in the like in the channel um. It's, uh, it's certainly better organized, um, than it is in the channel, and, uh, plus it's got the, uh, the stuff that I think is, is relevant, uh, from the FAQ. Um, not in the terms that, like, you know, uh, what's in the FAQ isn't relevant for pigeon care, but, uh, for the stuff that I touch on in pigeon care, um, I think, uh, I, I've I've pulled from uh, from those sections and uh, and put them into into my sections, so you know those those sections are a little more complete. You know I, for instance, like uh, they have a whole section on uh, on bonding with your pigeon, but I do not. Um, so I I did not pull anything from that, but uh, you know I do talk about diet, and uh, they've got recommendations. 
for a, for a, you know, uh, you know, protein and fat and uh, fiber percentages and uh, also brands. So, you know, I've pulled that into my diet section because I think it's relevant and I think, uh, I think it's helpful. Um, but, uh, it, again, there's, there's no point in copying their whole document into mine because that would, A, kind of be plagiarism. Um, and, and B, you know, it's, uh, I don't, I don't know. It seems it, disrespectful to just use their work without, uh, you know, having anything extra to contribute. That's not yours. Here he comes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. <laughs> um, so yeah, basically the stuff that's pulled into, uh, into my document is, uh, is is because I think uh, it's something that that I didn't perhaps know, but uh, since I'm talking about it anyway, I may as well include that information because you know I just uh, just learned it from uh, the other document, you know. Um. Uh, I also uh, I do specifically say uh, in my in my Discord. Um, rules, I think. Um, you know, I am not the place to go to ask for medical advice. You know, I personally have never dealt with any serious problem. I do not have the experience to answer your questions. Um, I'm going to direct you to someone who knows better than me. Um, because, uh, I am not qualified. Um, I mean, there are certain things that I, I can tell you, hey, don't do that. You know? Don't feed your pigeon this. Don't light a fire around your pigeon. Don't pull a flight, a, a, a broken flight feather yourself. You know? Crap like that. Um. But, uh, you know how to, how to treat things? Not, not my specialty. Uh, I've gotten very, very lucky. With uh, with uh, my with my bird's health, um, we're actually looking into a trying to find a a rather cheap microscope, um, so that uh, we can do our own um, fecals and uh, throat swabs, and uh, make sure that uh, no one is uh, carrying anything nasty. Um, if anybody would have anything, uh, it, it would be the Tiplers. Um, you know, their, their parents were in a, were in a bigger loft and, uh, uh, you know, there, there is certainly a chance that they have something subclinical that I don't know about. Um, and, uh, it's just, it's just never shown up. I don't know if that's likely considering I've had them for three years and there's never been a problem. Um, and you know, they're, they're, they're vaccinated for PMV and, uh, paratyphoid slash salmonella. So, you know, if they have something, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely, uh, treatable. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be something like low level canker or, a uh, or uh, maybe a really small population of uh, of inter internal parasites, but truthfully, I I honestly don't think anybody in here has worms. But again, I will be worrying in July um, because of uh, just, uh, they've been out here for for nine months and uh, ten months maybe, and I I think it's probably time to uh, let them. Uh, have the chance to uh, clear out anything that they've picked up in that time period. Um, I, it's it's more of a precautionary deworming than uh, than anything else. Um, but the the microscope will be really helpful for uh, 
for turning our problems because, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> one of my, uh, one of my screening questions on my, it's, it's, it's not really a, a screening, uh, quiz so much as like a com compatibility slash knowledge slash, uh, um, like preferences quiz for, uh, potential adopters. So I can, uh, I can see like, you know, are, are you, uh, are you in the space to have a pigeon and like, you know, uh, wh what do you know about pigeons? Like what, what, what do I need to fill in? Like, you know, so many people, you know, you, you Google pet, pet pigeon and, uh, Palomacy comes up first and, uh, you know, Palomacy's diet advice is not, uh, is it correct? But they, they suggest that you, uh, you feed veggies. And, um, you know, in, a, in addition to grain, so, you know, they're partially right, um, but they, they're, they're not completely correct. And, uh, expecting your pigeon to, to eat greens and, uh, and all that, God, those terms are so fluffy, um, is, is silly. And also if they do eat them, their poop is awful. It's terrible. Um, the, the organ that chickens have that makes them omnivorous and lets them eat bugs and, and seed and grass and, and, uh, and, and actual, like, meat, um, just, and, and fruit and, and all that crap that is so small in pigeons. It's called the cecum or the, yeah, I believe so. Cecum or cecum? One of those. It's so small in pigeons as to be vestigial. Um, pigeons only get nutritional value from grains and legumes. So all, all your seeds and, uh, things like peas and lentils and, uh, corn. Um, I, don't, I honestly don't believe corn is even honestly like that nutritionally valuable for them. It's probably got, um, some energy to it, but, uh, maybe more like a, in terms of, uh, uh, sort of how their body breaks it down. Maybe it's it, it maybe more like a candy than like a, an actual um, uh, you know decent meal, like a, uh, like a good salad and a and a steak. You know, um, uh, so you know they're 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 giving out advice like that and uh, and 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 to sprinkle feed grit. When grit should be free fed for any bird that is a, uh, you know, has had access to a, uh, to to minerals for a, for a, uh, you know, at least a couple weeks. Um, there's there's certainly uh, definitely one situation I brought it up before, but I'll bring it up again in case uh, you know somebody's just watching this video and has not seen the other ones. Um, uh, a situation where you uh, definitely should not fee free fee grit, and that is in the case where um, uh, you uh, you have taken in a rescue, um, whether it be a feral or a showbird who has been uh, been lost for quite a while. Um, if a if a bird is in, is in rather poor condition when uh, you uh, you get it. Um, Chances are it's not had access to the minerals it needs for a while either. And um, giving uh, the bird free access to grit can make it so excited to fill the craving it has that it will not be able to self-moderate and will eat to the point of impacting itself, which can be fatal. That is the, uh, that's, that's the situation in which you sprinkle grit. Uh, is just to ease them into it, you know, slowly build up their reserves. Um, otherwise, uh, not free feeding is a, is a great way of, uh, of giving your birds a mineral deficiency. Um, what was my original point here? Certainly, uh, you know, right. The uh, 
and then you know you get you get people who just uh who have never had a, a bird before or were you know perhaps uh uh you know they 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 like pigeons and they know some things about pigeons but uh you know say they don't uh they don't follow Danny on Tumblr so uh you know they haven't had time to pick up uh you know, uh, any pigeon ugh, on my chin. <sighs> any pigeon like behavior? Oh, Jesus. Um, so, you know, I've, I've got a cheat sheet for that. Um, you know, just uh, some, some, some of, of the more obvious uh, cues that uh, your bird can give you. Um, and uh, you know, housing tips and uh, and and whatnot. Just uh, just a, a bunch of random crap, honestly. That uh, I I felt should be uh, put in one place so that you, everyone who wants to can uh, can read through it without uh, um, you know, having to look for it all separately. So uh, yeah, there's, I've got uh, I've got that document available. Um, if uh, if anybody's interested, I'll uh, I'll link it in the in the description. And uh, you know if you if you you know you you see anybody who uh, who who wants uh, uh, you know um, hi who's who's interested in getting a pigeon. But like doesn't really know anything about it and like is looking for information. Feel free to show it to them and uh, you know have a have a uh, uh, a resource for them to learn before they uh, they commit to a bird that they don't know anything about. Um, I think the most important step of the uh, pet keeping is is uh, you know is preparation. And, and knowing uh, what you're getting into. Um, being prepared, I think, really helps uh, a lot. Especially for people who experience stress easily. You know? Boy, it is sleepy time. Guys, it's light out still. <sighs> Alright, so... Uh, nobody's really doing much, so I'll wrap up. Um... So yeah, I, uh, there's, there's padding and all the nests, so I'll, I'll sort of zoom in on my bananas so you can see it. See it there? Um, it's, it's under, uh, under the substrate for, uh, for the actual used nests. We, uh, me and my mother worked together to, uh, transfer latte and, uh, the substrate out, uh, while, while I lifted up Newt and, uh, put the, the liner in. Um, considering Latte is a singleton and, uh, and some parents sit on their baby, their singleton babies too tightly to the point of, uh, kind of squishing them to, uh, to the point of damage. Um, I figured, uh, some pad some padding there would, uh, not go, uh, uh, completely unappreciated. Um, uh, we've added, uh, new bricks, uh, a new ramp. For any of the babies who are, you know, not great at jumping yet, um, you know, new brick, new brick, old brick, uh, paper roof on the yard, paper roof on the yard, still plenty to move, old brick, new brick, new brick, uh, the new refurbished ramp, uh, old brick, old brick, old brick, <laughs> and then, uh, those four bricks sitting on the, uh, on the table are, uh, gonna go inside. Um, a couple of them will be available for, uh, kids, uh, to sit on during, a uh, indoor social, social distancing time. And, uh, my god, can I, the others will be, uh, for, uh, for Mr. H, uh, in his cage when he arrives. And, uh, you know, give him some good purchases to, to sit on while he's, uh, he's in quarantine. Um, uh, and he can, uh, you know, he can use the ones, uh, in, in, in the, the hangout room when uh, the, the, the other kids are not, um, 
not in there. Um, have we have we done anything else? Um, by the way, part of the reason they put the bricks uh, down in these lower ones is that uh, I noticed that the kids before they could fly. You know, uh, but we're still coming to the floor. Like, you know, they could fly a little bit, but, you know, couldn't fly all the way back up. They would they would get back into these boxes, and uh, there was a brick in there, and they liked to, to, to loaf on the brick as na at, at night or uh, up against the brick. So uh, I figured uh, I would uh, put those down there. And uh, as uh, time goes on and uh, the quantity of peeps increases somewhat... Um, you know, these are a good alternative for, uh, for getting back in the nest all the way. And, uh, again, I, I have tested this, like, a lot, and it's, like, it's really stable. Uh, I'm actually, like, impressed with how stable it is, considering how, uh, how precarious it looks. <laughs> um, uh, so, yeah, I'm gonna move that stump I don't know where, but, um, you know, that, that paper is certainly really useful because it lets them uh, transfer into that box. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll just, like, scoot it like that. Now they've got, like, Incredibly heavy. How about that? We can sort of we can jump from there to there to there to there. And uh I know banana likes to be like on the table sometimes. So um I said we can still land on this corner. But we can also land on the back of the table and have room. Yeah, I like that. I like that. We'll see how they use it. Um, sometimes uh, the the best way of uh, figuring out um, how to how to design a part of the loft is to um, is just to uh, you know watch um watch them uh use stuff and then uh come on and then figure out from there uh how to make it better for them yeah i like this a lot this is great this is great they can get all the way to the floor they can get all the way back into that box which definitely seems to be safer from the uh, from the adults. Like uh, like Cloud very rarely seems to uh, want to uh, chase the kids in the very lowest boxes, but like this box with a bowl seems to be like somewhat offensive to him, which is interesting. Um, and uh, very. Very coolly, I think I can just keep this up like all year, because the birds just duck under this, and uh, and don't even have to like jump down, you know. Like I think during the winter they were a little annoyed because they had to get from the boxes to the floor, but if you've seen my earliest videos, uh, you know the table was like centered. So there was, like, like less room to do what they wanted to. Now we have, like, a, like a three-tier platform, you know? We've got, a, we've got the nest boxes, we've got the table, and then they can get to the floor. Um, before, I think this, this, they sort of had to land on the table and then go to the floor. 
but this is a this is more room like you know a, ch a whole a whole chair fits here now um when it did it totally didn't before um so yeah hmm. I, that's better i really enjoy making like improvements in here i think it's a uh, really satisfying um uh do you like that nest pad is that is that good is that good i'm uh i feel like my my nest uh situation is is has reached um optimal uh percentage you know it's um i've got pads I've got straw. I was running out of straw before. Uh, I was I was almost out. I I I used up the bag today just to uh, get that bag uh, empty and fill it with the some of the new straw, which came in a huge box. Um, and uh, I've got tobacco sticks. Um, so uh, you know everyone's got a, a good amount of uh, substrate to use. They've got a, a pad so that they do not break their goddamn eggs, and uh, they've got a bunch of rough things to land on and walk on. Um, and get around. They've got a mirror. Um, they've, uh, got a, a, a drinker, which isn't going to give me anxiety to pick up because I'm not afraid of earwigs being <laughs> underneath of it. Um, <laughs> there is a shocking amount of really pulleys in here. As I was wash washing, I found like four or five. Um, this is like a pier. Um, and, uh, and, uh, you know, the bowls, I, I scooted the bowls, um, all the way to the sides. Um, I may do more of, like, an alternation, uh, as time goes on. Because, uh, you know, these kids, uh, their poops were, were running down the walls and down into the next boxes, you know? So, uh, if... Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna alternate. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna move, uh, Storm, because Storm's already on, on an active chick, but, uh, Taco, I, I am coming in there right now. I'm just gonna scoot you, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know you're very angry. Let me just, uh... Part of the part of the reason all this hay is in here is to help soak up some of the liquid from uh, from the kids being uh, so uh, so very uh, very um, you know uh, poopy. Hi, hi, Cloud. I'm gonna reach in there. Yeah, hi. He says, "What are you doing? What are you doing?" I get, I get your beak. I get your beak. I get the beak. Just cover his whole head. <laughs> he bites me. Alright, you won. You won, you got me. You got me. <laughs> so you sneeze, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, s I'm sorry, Cloud. I grab your nose too much. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to make you sneeze, buddy. <laughs> what was on my hand? <laughs> Oh, dude, I feel bad. Are you okay? <laughs> you alright, bud? <laughs> Newt was watching for a little bit. He was like, what's going on up there? I'll, I'll wait to move uh, that bowl, because banana looks really comfy. But, um, yeah. Okay. Improvement. Um, yeah, that's better. Well, uh, that way with, uh, with, when, when, when these babies hatch, they're not going to be pooping directly down into the bowl of these babies. This baby. Um, yeah, okay. I originally said them both aside because um, 
I don't know. It, it seemed like a a way to uh, to to keep a uh, nest separate. But that's a stupid thought. I mean, they both both pairs have one row. You know, like they don't they don't care. Why would they care? Why would they care if their bulls are closer? You know, and there's a wall. Silly, it was silly. Um, but we all we all we all think silly things. Um, yeah. All right. So I'm a because it's so late, uh, and I'm so tired. I, I I'm having this weird also. I think a uh, side effect from my medication, which I've I've not had before, where um my feet have been swollen for like sixteen hours. Um, and it's just like it's just it just keeps happening. Like, it's just not going away. Um, and I just, I'm tired. <laughs> and I hurt. Because I've been manically cleaning in here. Um, and, and, you know, the kids are obviously out. So, um, I really, I really gotta get going on that tomorrow. But, uh, yeah. Uh, Latte's doing great. Uh, checked them earlier today. They're definitely bigger. Their crop was, a, uh, you know, it's hard to tell with a, t with a two, two day old cause their crop is tiny, but you know, there was something in there and, uh, you know, needs a good father. Um, uh, t tacos, uh, egg candling will be tonight. Um, and, uh, I'll, I'll try to film that, especially because, uh, it's day nine and, uh, the embryos should be, uh, moving around quite a lot by that point. Would you like some, some more hay? I can bring you more hay. I'll bring you more hay. Okay. Um, and, uh, yeah. All right. I think, uh, I think that's all I have to announce for now. Uh, oh, real quick, um, I did the, the brief calculations, um, I sort of have to adjust them every now and then, just, uh, because I'm, I'm sort of prone to making mistakes, uh, the first time around, but, um, with the, with a more of a pattern to build off of, it's easier, so, um, uh, clutch three, I think, should be laid... I don't know. Uh, I don't remember when it's supposed to be laid, but I think it's supposed to hatch like June 6th to 7th or 8th, um, which means they'll be about three weeks old in July, uh, which is, a, to me, an appropriate age to uh, have to experience uh, the hottest month of the year in this area. Um, but uh, uh, during that during that month, uh, no peeps will be allowed to hatch. Um, I expect but, uh, we will, Storm will probably lay another clutch around the end of June, uh, that will be born, I think the calculations said something a lot like, uh, August 9th or 8th or something like that. So, uh, eight weeks after that would be, uh, when clutch four will be ready to go home. Um, this is perhaps not exactly relevant information for most of you, um, uh, the, the people uh, who are waiting for Clutch 4, I believe, are already on my Discord and thus know the timeline. But, uh, those of you who, who are not and, uh, and are, uh, you know, curious about, curious about the, uh, the amount of peeps, um, I, no new, no new peeps will be, uh, hatching in, in, in July, but, uh, anything laid... Uh, near the end of July, that's gonna hatch in August when, uh, when the data says, uh, you know, the average data for, uh, uh, the, 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 the last years, um, the highs and the lows, uh, says that the temperature should, should go down over the month, um, and, and not go up, uh, or stay up like they do in July, uh, they will be allowed to hatch in August. So, uh, that will be time when new peeps arrive again. Uh, and also, uh, one final note, um, 
I've been informed that uh, shipping after Black Friday is a bad idea uh, due to uh, holiday delays and winter storms. So uh, there will be a period during the winter where uh, uh, nobody is going to be leaving the loft um, unless they are uh, going to a local home or at least somebody who is uh, willing to drive a few hours. Um, so, uh, that's, a uh, that's, that's gonna happen, and, uh, my plan at this point is, uh, once the, uh, once the final clutch before, uh, November, uh, God, when's Black Friday? 26? Something like that. Once the final clutch that's ready before Black Friday, uh, is shipped out, um, I will be, uh, breeding one more time. Uh, because, uh, you know, it does take, uh, eight weeks to get a, a, a baby that's ready to go home. And, uh, if, uh, if it's not safe to ship before they're ready to go home, um, and somebody, uh, within driving distance is, uh, up to grab one, uh, that, that kid will, will, uh, will be available during that time. Um, the... But otherwise, breeding will probably pause if we've uh, if we've got two peeps in here who are uh, waiting to go home. Um, so uh, that's that's that on that. Um, you know, uh, we, if uh, if I have to hold uh, two babies over the winter, that's uh, that's how it's got to be. But um, if uh, there's anybody in in the the Maryland area who is uh, is looking for uh, chicks during uh, during this time. I during you know winter. Um, I honestly the the way the waitlist works. Um, I think uh, I think people who could drive uh, and pick them up during the period I cannot ship uh, are just going to uh, get ahead of uh, the people who uh, require shipping. And, uh, you know, any of the kids that are left over or are, um, you know, if, if both kids go to, uh, to, to, to local drivers, um, during that time, um, then, you know, I'll let them produce again and I'll, I'll have a, 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 hopefully a pair of kids ready to go for shipping when, uh, when it's safe again. Um. Because you can you can breed during winter, but uh, shipping during winter is uh, another thing entirely. Um, holiday packages uh, slow everything down like sixty uh, percent, and uh, while pigeons can can survive a really long time in the shipping box, doesn't mean you you want them to have to do that. Okay, so I've said we're gonna end the video like three hundred times now. So this is this is actually it. Um, uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm gonna go get the Templars some more hay because they obviously want to play with some. And, uh, there should be a video up tonight, though God knows how long this will take to process, uh, with, uh, the probably very short video of, uh, of the Templar eggs. Um, depending on if, uh, if the, if the embryos are active and moving. Alright, thank you and have a good night.